Very ugly sexual abuse charges against a former coach at a college football powerhouse, Penn State. There are a lot of questions this morning, including how much university officials and legendary head coach Joe Paterno knew and when they knew it. ABC's T.J. Winnick is on the campus this morning with more on this stunning story. T.J., good morning to you. Viana, good morning to you. For decades, Penn State football played here at Beaver Stadium has been known as the gold standard of how a college program should be run. That's why these allegations, these shocking allegations of abuse and cover-up have shaken this entire sport to its very core. The allegations are shocking that here in one of the biggest and most storied football programs in America, boys as young as 10 were being sexually abused by one of the team's most prominent figures. This is absolutely a stunner in the world of sports. If you were to say, give me squeaky clean in college football, one of the answers uh, that you might say first is Penn State. Jerry Sandusky is known as the architect of Penn State football's powerhouse defense. But the former defensive coordinator may become even better known now for allegations of sexual abuse of eight young boys over a 15-year period. Sandusky's attorney asserts that his client is innocent and will fight the charges. More startling, Sandusky worked with underprivileged children through a foundation that he started named Second Mile. Children that are troubled or have a disadvantaged background, they're going to be more vulnerable to someone paying attention to them. But what may really shake the university, the charges also accuse Penn State officials of a cover-up. Athletic Director Tim Curley and University Vice President Gary Schultz were charged with perjury and failure to report the allegations to state authorities. What happens is uh, self-preservation sets in and when people have this type of information, they just deny that it's actually occurring because they're concerned about it affecting their career. Attorneys for both men say their clients are innocent, but questions are also surrounding head coach and football legend Joe Paterno. According to the investigation, a graduate assistant to the team discovered Sandusky in the shower with a boy and reported the incident to the head coach who relayed the account to Curley. Paterno was not charged with any wrongdoing. Penn State's president calls the allegations troubling, but also said that Schultz and Curley have his unconditional support. Those two men are expected to turn themselves into authorities tomorrow morning in Harrisburg.